Hey guys, Brad here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Milwaukee M18 Multi-Tool. This is the oscillating multi-tool to be more exact. So I've had some comments asking why am I getting into the old tools? Why am I reviewing them? What's the point when Fuel Line has just come out and you know they're brushless and they're awesome and yeah, that's great, but you can still buy these. And the big reason I am reviewing them is because you can still buy them. They're great tools, not all of them, but a lot of them. And you know, for the, the person who's just getting into the trades or the homeowner who doesn't want to drop the big bucks on brushless items, things, you know, they might use this once a year or they're just a hobbyist or whatever. I'm just trying to review basically everything and anything. So that's sort of my, my platform, I guess you could say. I just want to give everybody my honest two cents on pretty much every tool out there eventually. So this is the M18. It's not brushless. Okay. This has been around for quite a while and it is the toolless blade change. It has a LED light on the front. It weighs about 2.65 pounds and it goes from 11,000 to 18,000 oscillations per minute. Roughly this thing is about 150 bucks Canadian versus the fuel, which is around $280 Canadian. So that's sort of a big point that I'm trying to make here is that not everyone wants to drop 280 bucks on an oscillating tool that they need once in a while. And this thing has been doing the job for a long time. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to cut some nails. I'm going to cut some wood and we're going to do some sanding and I'm going to show you what I hate about this multi-tool. All right. It's not necessarily a game changer, but I hate it. So let's get into it. So I've got a 1.5 battery here, 18 volt. And, uh, this one as well has up to 12 on the variable speed. So from two to 12, just like it's little M12. So that's nice. I love the variable speeds. I think that's really important to have. What I don't like about um, Milwaukee setup is that it's just on and off. I prefer the handle, the trigger that DeWalt has. I, I really do like that. Now maybe that's just because I'm used to it but I, I like to be able to just turn it off by letting go. If you know, just, I feel like it gives me a little bit more control over my cuts. If I all of a sudden start plunging a little bit too hard, I can just let go of the trigger and I'm done. Whereas this thing, you got to quickly turn it off with your thumb. So that's, that's just me, but, uh, you know, maybe it's other people too. So to put a blade on this, take the battery out on the top, We've got a lever, which I quite like, and you push this all the way down. Okay, it kind of has a little bit of a positive click in right there. All right. So now what that does is it releases the tension on this screw. So it is toolless. You just undo that, and then you can slap in a blade. And then you have to screw this down. You don't need a screwdriver or anything, just finger tight. And then this right there, locks it in place. Now that is nice and tight. If you want, you can turn these blades in multiple directions, right? So we could cut this way, this way, all different angles. Today, we're just gonna cut straight on. All right, now you put your battery in and we're good to go. So eyes and ears are very, very important when you're cutting. And I don't have any glasses on, so I'm just going to grab a set of glasses. All right, got my eye protection. Make sure you guys subscribe, uh, hit that notify bell, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and definitely leave some comments down below. I'd like to know your take on, do you have the M18? Are you using the fuel? Are you just getting into carpentry or the trades, or are you a homeowner and you got some questions? So, you know, all those things. Love to get back to you. Love to hear the comments. Just love that interaction. All right, so let's, uh, let's cut some nails for starters. We're gonna be using a multi blade here. So this is for wood and nail. And here we go. 
and we'll start off on level two, which really doesn't do anything for cutting nails, and we'll just crank it up to level 12, all right? Okay, so that for me is a real good test of the vibration when you're going metal on metal. That's how you really test these things to see if there's a ton of vibration. This is not bad. It's not amazing. You know, multi-tools are just renowned for being super vibrating. You know, they make your hands kind of numb and tingly. This is pretty good. I'm, I'm fairly impressed with sort of the vibration of this tool. I would put it up with the DeWalt as far as vibration goes, just for my personal feeling. It's got good rubber over mold on it. I know the uh, fuel has better vibration dampening on it. I have yet to uh, really run that one through its paces, but we will, and we'll do a review on that as well. So let's switch out the blade. Now to do that, you gotta touch the blade sometimes, depending. You open this up, switch it over, now, if you've been doing a lot of cutting, this is gonna be hot. Even this little piece here would be hot. So that's one thing I don't like about it. Now we're just gonna put on a straight wood blade. Tighten that down, lock it in place. And let's just cut a little bit of wood here and see how this goes. So I gotta say, this thing is pretty awesome at cutting wood. I might even say it's better than the DeWalt, even though you know I'm a DeWalt guy. That thing just rips through the wood and vibrating, it really doesn't bug me. I, I really like it. Um, it's, it's a good tool. It's solid, it's good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, now, what do I hate about it? This is what I hate, all right? I'm gonna show you in a second. I'm sure you all know. Let's say I was really into sanding or cutting or whatever. So I just changed that. Now I wanna cut. So the way this goes on is it slides in and then it seats down on those teeth, just like, just like this one here. That's hot. Just like this, okay? Then you gotta turn this nut. Now, I have fairly big hands. They're not monster hands, but I've been told I have pretty big hands. But I bet you Tiffany can't even turn that. Why don't you try, Tiffany? Is it hot? It's not hot. Why don't you try? Get your fingers in there. And then what? And then try and turn it. Well, I have... <laughs> turn it the other way. Oh, to the right? Yeah. See? Very hard. It's a little awkward. It's a little awkward. All right, yep. that's enough of that. Okay. But I have like skinny. Fingers. She has skinny hands. Put your hands up against <laughs> mine. Get that on camera. Okay. Okay. I got big man hands. Okay. She has nice, pretty hands. So, that's that's where I kind of draw the line with this sort of uh, mechanism. That's really frustrating for me. So you need to carry a screwdriver of some kind, a big one, a little one. I got a stubby here, and then you can just tighten that and then you're good to go. But, you know, if it were me, 
and I had this in a kit, I would keep a screwdriver with it. Go get yourself a little screwdriver, a cheap one. This is like a Craftsman or something. Yeah, this is really old. And just have it so if you are into sanding, you have this ability, you know, you don't have to go searching through another toolbox to find a screwdriver. Because, you know, that's, that's just dumb. And this is why I like the DeWalt. And I'm just going to pull it out quickly. All right, the DeWalt, you don't have to do that. You just slide it on, done, okay? And if I want to put, I haven't even tried the sander on the DeWalt, but it should work just fine. Okay, you just open it up, slide it on, done. It's on, that's it. It's good to go. Locks in place, boom, boom. So that's what I absolutely hate about Milwaukee's M18 multi-tool is that I have to use a tool and it's just, that's just kind of a deal breaker for me. Now I might, let's say I get into some serious fabrication of some kind and this just becomes a dedicated sanding multi-tool, great. I never need to change it and I never need to go in between. I've got so many multi-tools I can use one just for blades and the other one just for sanding. So that's that's my situation. But for everyone else out there, you got to make that decision. Is this a deal breaker for you? You know, or is it just whatever? It's just a screwdriver. Who cares? So there you go. Let's uh, do a little sanding with this too and see how it makes out. All right, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, for me, multi-tools are not my go-to sanders. I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of orbital sanders, especially with dust collection. So I have rarely used these sanders on any of my jobs, but they are handy to have because they've got this point and you can really get into like tiny little detail corners. So definitely something to get if you're gonna get a multi-tool. Get the sanding pad because once you have it you know you never know when you might need it so but as far as like sanding i mean yeah it sands sure it gets the job done it's nothing like an orbital so if you are trying to debate should i get a multi-tool with a sander or an orbital don't even compare it's apples and oranges if you need to sand something get the orbital and then get the multi-tool because you need to use it for cutting all right Okay guys, that is my two and a half cents on this M18 Milwaukee uh, oscillating multi-tool. If you like the review, please subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.